Hey family, I pray that you're doing well. I'm Joanne Rosario. You probably already know that, but just in case you don't know, I pastor Maranatha Life Church. We are presently located in Austell, Georgia, and we're in a new, new location, um, but we believe by faith that God is not gonna have us in this location for long. We believe by faith that there is a place, that there is a location, that there is a house that God has prepared for this ministry, and we're moving by faith. And so. At the beginning of this year, we set forth a vision and we have been actively working toward that vision to sow into our building fund for our own place, our own location. And so many that are part of Maranatha Life have made pledges and we have designated March 19th uh, in this first quarter as our big Give Sunday. This is something that we're gonna be doing quarterly because we are planning, we're activating our faith because faith without works is dead. And so as a church, we've been saving and we've been encouraging our members to save. But I came across the scripture and I wanted to share this with you because as we're preparing for our Big Give Sunday, our first Big Give Sunday of this year, I want you to be encouraged in your pledge. And maybe you haven't made a pledge and uh, there's still time for you to set aside an offering. If you feel like this uh, ministry has been a blessing to your life, you can set aside a seed in order to help us bring to fruition what we know God has spoken. We know that God is doing it. We know that God is going to do it. We know that God has all of supply, all the supply and all the provision that we could ever need. We know that it is already done in the spirit. Uh, but I get excited giving you the opportunity to be part of what God is doing. And so I love this scripture when you look at First Chronicles uh, chapter 29. It says, furthermore, and I'm going to read quite a few verses because I feel like this context is super important. Furthermore, King David said to all the assembly, my son Solomon, whom alone God has chosen, is young and inexperienced and the work is great, but the temple is not for man, but for the Lord God. Now for the house of my God, right there it shows that relationship, for the house of my God, I have prepared with all my might. He was intentional about what he wanted to give God for the building of God's house. Now for the house of my God, I have prepared with all my might, gold for things to be made of gold, silver for things of silver, bronze for things of bronze, iron for things of iron, wood for things of wood, onyx stones, stones to be set, glistening stones of various colors, all kinds of precious stones and marble slabs in abundance. Moreover, because I have set, watch this word, my affection, because I have set my affection on the house of my God. He was in love with God. He was in love with God's house because I have set my affection on the house of my God. Right there, it shows relationship again, that ownership. My God, I have given to the house of my God over and above all that I have prepared for the holy house, my own special treasure of gold and silver, 3,000 talents of gold, of the gold of Ophir and 7,000 talents of refined silver to overlay the walls of the houses. Listen, can you imagine how uh, outraged some people would be if we decided we were going to uh, pave the walls with silver? This is what David was talking about, an extravagant house for the Lord. 3,000 talents of gold, 7,000 talents of refined silver to overlay the walls of the houses the gold for things of gold and the silver for things of silver and for all kinds of work to be done by the hands of craftsmen, craftsmen who then is willing, who then is willing to consecrate himself this day to the Lord. He's asking a question. Then the leaders of the father's houses, leaders of the tribes of Israel, the captains of thousands and of hundreds with the officers over the king's work offered willingly. They gave for the work of the house of God, 5,000 talents and 10,000 derricks of gold, 10,000. Now he's talking about the leaders. So he first started with what he gave. Now he's talking about what the leadership has given. 10,000 talents of silver, 18,000 talents of bronze and 100,000 talents of iron. And whoever had precious stones gave them to the treasury of the house of the Lord into the hand of Jehiel, the Gershonite. Then the people rejoice. So they've given their diamonds, they've given their gold, they've given their silver. And then it says, the people rejoiced for they had offered willingly. Somebody say willingly. They had offered willingly 
because with a loyal heart, they had offered willingly to the Lord and King David also rejoiced greatly. I think that it's amazing to see that David in his leadership, he communicated such a love for the presence of God and he communicated to the people such a love for the house of God. And what's amazing is that David didn't even get to build the house. Solomon built the house, but David prepared for the house by setting aside gold and silver, by setting aside special treasure. And then after he had set aside specific treasure for the building of the house of God, it says that he gave over and above for the house of God. This is my faith. My faith is that me, Joanne Rosario, as a leader, that over the last nine years that I have served you and that I have taught you and that I have poured into you, that I have communicated to you my love for God, that I have communicated to you my love for his house. And I believe that there are, there is a people, there is a congregation, there is a tribe that is rejoicing and excited to have the opportunity to sow into the house of God that we will be building through this ministry, Maranatha Life Church. And so as I was reading this, I was like, wow, God, how even the spirit of love and of generosity to give to God and to give to his house, it just came through David in such a powerful way that it was on all of the leaders and it was on all of the people. And after they gave, they weren't sad, they rejoiced. I believe that that's the same spirit, by faith, I believe that this is the same spirit that is being released and unleashed here at Maranatha Life Church, that if you give online under Building Fund, or if you bring it to the house on March 19th for our, for our very first Big Give Sunday, we're gonna do it quarterly because there's a goal that we're getting to. I believe that as you give, you're going to rejoice greatly because you believe in what God is doing in this ministry and because you believe that God is doing something powerful and that we need a place to house what God is doing through this ministry. I know that other ministries manipulate, I, and I'm not pointing out at anyone, but throughout history, we know that uh, some churches have had building funds for 20 years and you never saw the building. That's just not what's gonna happen here. And I believe that I have a track record in your eyes of integrity and of faithfulness, and that allows you to feel like this ministry is good ground. And so get ready for our first Big Give Sunday. If you have not made your pledge yet, Seek God uh, to know what amount. Some of you, that it will be a thousand. Some of you will be 500. There may be someone. I believe that God will touch their heart to send $10,000. Those numbers are nothing in comparison to, uh, to what God has access to. So somebody will give $10,000, one person. Somebody will give $20,000, one person. Many people will give $1,000. Many people will give $500. It will be based on what the Lord places on your heart because you are also like David where your affection is in the house of the Lord and you love to give to his house. You love to give to his vision. We're talking about something that goes beyond your tithe and we're talking about something that goes beyond your offering, your regular normal offering. This is a special offering that you give for a purpose and that purpose is to build his house, that we would be able to find a place that we can call home. We're in a time of transition. We're, we're kind of like nomads at the moment because we're in a beautiful facility, but it's not our home. And I believe that very soon, God wants to give us our home. And so I encourage you to be part of this vision. I encourage you to get ready for Big Gift Sunday, March 19th. 19th, I encourage you to seek the Lord, if you have not already made your pledge, to know what the Lord would have you to sow and to give. And I'm grateful that my life and my track record have proven to you that this ministry is good ground and that there will be a blessing that is returned to you when you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, when you put first the things that are important to the heart of God, you will reap an overflow of what it is that God has for you. And so I'm excited. After we have our Big Give, big give Sunday on the 19th of March, that next Sunday, our finance team will come back 
and will uh, let us know what we did as a church. God has provided uh, uh, an entity that is going to match the giving. So all of the giving that comes in for our building fund up to $25,000 in this first quarter, there is an entity that has said we are going to match every dollar. So is if as a church, we sow for our building fund in this first quarter, $25,000, that entity is going to match, is going to match dollar for dollar. So if we as a church sow $25,000, that entity is going to match another 25,000 on top of that, that will put us at $50,000. And this entity has promised to do this every quarter. So with our giving and with our faith, we have the ability to be matched up to 25,000 in the first quarter of the year, the second quarter of the year, the third quarter of the year, and the last quarter of the year, because we are believing that in 2024, if not sooner, we are going to be walking into our own home, a house built for God, a house built for people to come and experience God. And I'm excited that you desire to be a part of this. And so if you choose to give early or if you choose to, uh, to wait, you can go to our website, maranathalifechurch.com. The ways to give are on the website. Um, our no fee way to give, which is obviously the best, is Zelle. You can use the info there, info um, at maranathalifechurch.com to give through Zelle. You can use Cash App, which of course there's a small fee associated with Cash App, but M Life C H is our official Cash App. For those of you that give through Cash App, make sure that you are giving to our new Cash App, M Life C H. That is the Cash App that we are using. And then you can, right there on the website, is the text to give number where you would text the phone number on the website. And in the message, you would place give the amount that you're giving, and you would put in a T for tithe or an O for offering, or a B for building funds. So it would look like this, give 1,000 B, and it will process it and it will be assigned to the right, uh, to the right, um, to the right account, okay? So I wanted to share this with you. I felt that it was on my heart uh, to share this with you because God is building up our faith to be part of a miracle that we're going to see him do very, very quickly because he will do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask, think, or even imagine. And so thank you for being part of this supernatural faith journey with us as we shoot and head towards our home as a church, Maranatha Life Church. Okay. I love you. I bless you. And thank you for standing with us. Be blessed.